Okay, let's look at part B3 now. Earlier we found out that PS was 5.657 cm, PQ is 5.657 cm as well. They want the area of PQRS. PQRS, that's the entire um, quadrilateral, which is a trapezium here. Now, let's consider the entire figure. Let's do our little recreation of it. A less crowded recreation of it. We have the height here 5.657 this width at the top is 5.657 but we need from S to R we need to find out what SR is so how do we do that one thing we can do let's try and find this angle and see if it will help us what's, it? what's this angle do that quickly what is that angle equal to Using a calculator, right, you should get it. It's 180 minus, minus 30, 180 minus 30 minus 82, and that would be 68 degrees, all right? 68 degrees, because all three angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Now, could use the sine rule. Try something with the sine rule. You don't have to try and remember it. It's in the formula sheet. 8 centimeter over the sine of 68. Remember, it's the side over the sine of the angle that is opposite to the angle that it doesn't rub against. So 8 over sine of 68 is equal to this is what we want so we say call it SR SR over the sine of the angle opposite which is 82 so if we multiply both sides by sine 82 times sine 82 sine 82 cancel sine 82 so we have SR equals sine 82 times Alright, let's put 8 times sine 82. So it's 8 times sine 82 over sine 68. So what is SR? Use a calculator and work it out. So 8 times, and remember, ensure your calculator is in degree mode because we're losing degrees here. 8 times sine 82 equals divided by sine 68 equals 8.544 so SR is 8.544 so this is 8.544 can put it 8.544 here alright now to calculate the area of this trapezium you have a formula but we won't bother to try and remember that formula. You cannot derive it here. The area of this trapezium is just like with the rectangle, it's the height 5.657 times the width. But our problem is that there are two widths here. The one at the top is 5.657, the one at the bottom is 8.544. So we need to compromise. What we do is find the average of these two widths all right so add them up and divide by two five point six five seven since there are two of them plus eight point five four four over two some books will tell you that are some websites in giving out the formula for the area of a trapezium they say the area is half the height times open bracket and the two different sides 
added close bracket that's what that's how they get it all right so the area user let's work it out 5.657 plus 8.544 equals that divided by 2 equals 7.1 and then multiply by 5.657 5.657 and that gives you 40.168 so the area is 40.16 all right 40, 40 40.7 um so you have 40.17 centimeter square right centimeter square always write the units all right so that's using the trapezium well, let's check out another way you could do it. Let me erase some of this and see if there's some other way you could um, work out the area of this um, trapezium here. The thing is that we have two triangles. So, let's... um. Redraw these triangles one side. So we have this triangle here separated from this triangle here. All right. Now, this is 5.657 and 5.657. For this, we could work it out up here and say the area is half base, half by 5.657. Well, in this case, the base is at the top, but doesn't really matter in our working. Time the height of 5.657. So the area is, work it out, 0 0.5 times 5.657 times 5.657 gives you 16 all right call it 16 then centimeters square for that triangle what about this one let's see we have at the base 8.544 the vertical height going straight up is the same 5.657 so here the area of this one is half times base 8.544 times the height of 5.657. So 0.5 times 8.544 times the height of 5.657 gives 24.17. So 24.17 centimeter square. So the total area when you add up everything is 24.17 plus 16.00 6 and 4 10 no one zero carry one two and one three and one four forty point one seven same thing all right so in that case it doesn't really matter which method you use you get the same answer